Hello YouTube. Uh, we're starting out looking at my refrigerator because I wanted to show how old this baby is. It's made by General Motors. I don't know if you can make that out, but it says made only by General Motors. Now this is an old beer fridge I got here. Old white sucker. Anyway, the reason I'm showing that is because that's going to be running off what this topic is about today is my homemade generator. Now that's it there. Well, it is a five horse Briggs and Stratton, as you can tell, hooked up to a 100 amp automobile alternator. I think it's a Chrysler. Had it built at an automotive shop so there's no wiring needed. It's just uh, hook it up to the battery and no switches needed. Uh, the exhaust I just custom made that a little bit just to try to make it a little quieter. Built a frame around it. This is what you get. Now, I found this pulley works the best. It's a five inch pulley. I've tried different sizes, but I find it works the best. And it's got a couple of wheels on the back so I can just use the handle at the front, pick it up, and use it like a, a suitcase luggage thing, you know, a little suitcase cases with wheels just pick it up and move it or you can just pick it up and move it by hand it's not that big or not that heavy I'm sorry now I got a battery bank in the house that consists of four of these batteries I only brought one out today there's not exactly light for show and tell and these are the pulleys I started out with just for an experiment, I used this one for a try, it's a 7 inch one. And this is the one I originally had on it, which was 5.5. And, and I got rid of that and went to the 5 inch, because I think it works a lot better. Now, this is not to run your house on. It's only used for to run my TV and keep my freezer going. And, stuff like that. It's not meant to run 220s or anything like that. It's just a 120 and it does the job really well when you hook it up to your inverters. Now I have a bunch of these inverters. Here I have a, a smaller one which I'm gonna fire up a little later. This is the bigger one that I use to run my fridge and my TV and whatever on and I got another one that you can use to run lights and fans or whatever you prefer. Um, that's the front of them. Three 120 sockets. And that one only has two. Now, when the power has run out at my place a few times, what I've done is I've got uh, two 12 volt coolers. You know, and you just hook it up to your 12 volt batteries, and that saves you power instead of using converting it into 120. You know, I run the fridge to keep my beer cold and the freezer going to keep the meats cold, but you can use the 120s or the 12 volts little camping coolers that work great just to keep you know your ketchup and condiments and cold meats and cold cuts all uh, all in uh, good shape now let's see if I can fire this up now like I said this alternator is live there is no wires going to it as soon as I hook it up to that battery post it is live and it does take more force to turn this sucker over Let's see if I can start it up. No, I'm not. 
I am not going to uh, hook it up to the battery right now. Oh, if something goes wrong, this is usually when it goes wrong here. Full choke, half idle. Let's see if I can get this thing to fire up. Oh, bear with me now. Uh, we don't need that on anymore. I was just uh, to show that it does work. And like I said, yeah, I got four of these batteries, so works good for anything I'm running around the house. Well, I brought a hair dryer out just to see if it'll fire up off this little one. It should. I have no idea. Though. So 120. There we go. The heat section is on. I'd had no problem firing up off the little one. Now this big one has got gauges in the front to tell you how it's doing. So. Bear with me for a second here and see if I can't hook this one up. Now these uh, are supposed to be tight, of course. I'm not using any, I'm not using any tools. Should be enough to well, I don't think this will fit. Yeah. There we go. Yep, not quite. Okay, now let's see how much power this thing's got in it. Oh great. Things can go wrong, things go wrong. And that's not firing up for some reason. Hmm. Well, there's probably a fuse in there or something. Glad I found it now though. Anyway, that's my system which does work as soon as I figure out what's happening with that thing. Okay, YouTube, I will talk to you later. Bye.